on the Bell Canada layoffs of 4,800 people across the country. Your heritage minister accused Bell Canada of breaking its promise to invest in local news after receiving $40 million in regulatory relief funding. What is your view of that company's layoffs and what is your commitment to future government support with that company? I'm furious. This is a garbage decision by a corporation that should know better. We have seen over the past years journalistic outlets, radio stations, small community newspapers bought up by corporate entities who then lay off journalists, you know, change the offering, the quality of offering to people, and then when people don't watch as much or engage as much, the corporate entity says, oh, see, they're not profitable anymore, we're going to sell them off. This is the erosion, not just of journalism, of quality local journalism at a time where people need it more than ever, given misinformation and disinformation, but it's eroding our very democracy. Our abilities to tell stories to each other of how people's lives are, stories that reflect our own communities and not you know, central offices in our biggest cities, is part of what binds this country together from coast to coast to coast with, with incredible diversity of experiences, of geographies. We need those local voices. And over the past years, corporate Canada, and there are many culprits on this, have abdicated their responsibility towards the communities that they have always made very good profits off of in various ways. And they need, like, as a government, we have been stepping up over the past years, fighting for local journalism, fighting for investments that we can have, while all the while fending off attacks from conservatives and others who say, no, 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 you're trying to buy off journalists. We're trying to support journalism in this country and across this country. But no government can do it alone. Canadians need to demand better, as we will be demanding better, from corporate leaders, like in this case, Bell, that are eroding Canadians' ability to know each other, to trust each other, and to trust in the country and the future we are building together. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed off about what's just happened.